So you want to know how to use a capture card, eh? Well, you've come to the right spot, my friend. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Elgato HD60S or really any kind of capture card. With Streamlabs OBS, though this will work for regular OBS, same process. This is going to be perfect for anybody that wants to Twitch stream, anybody that wants to YouTube game, anybody that wants to make YouTube videos, anybody who wants to do YouTube recordings, anybody that streams on Facebook gaming. Does anybody actually stream on Facebook gaming? Anyways, I'm going to keep this short, easy to understand, and straight to the point. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video no headaches whatsoever so let me show you how to use a capture card so what you want to do is take the HDMI cable from your Xbox and plug it into the HDMI input of the Elgato capture card and then if you look next to that cable you'll see a mini USB cable you'll plug that directly into your computer and that's where the video footage is going to be sent make sure you have a USB 3.0 it's gonna be the blue USB otherwise these newer capture cards won't work because you need that updated USB drive in order to to get crisp clear and clean footage without any lag latency or anything like that next step you're gonna take an HDMI cable plug it into the HDMI out of the capture card and you're gonna plug that into the TV that you want to be playing on now let me show you what you need to do in terms of software so what you want to do is go to streamlabs.com download and install streamlabs OBS if you have no idea how to use this whatsoever go ahead and watch the video in the top right corner I have an in-depth guide going over all the things that you need to know for streaming on streamlabs OBS but we're gonna keep this extremely simple Simple. So first off, just make sure that you're logged in to your Twitch account. So go to your settings, go to stream, make sure you're logged in with Twitch here. That's going to allow you to stream when we're done setting up. Next thing you want to do is turn on your Xbox One, make sure it is connected to the capture card. Go to sources, go to video capture device, click add source. I'm going to add a new source instead. We'll call it Elgato cap card. We can name it whatever you would like to. I'm going to click add source and then it should automatically pop up here. But if not, just click this drop down. Click this, and if the resolution's messed up, like the, the screen size, mine fixed perfectly, but if that's messed up, just go to resolution, and then you can customize it by picking any of the ones here, but I like whatever it's on right now, uh, 1920 by 1080 p that's perfect. I'm going to click done. So now, let me move the controls on my controller real quick, show you that we're not capping or anything. So let me quickly do that. So now you can see we have that on Streamlabs. Let's put up our webcam real quick by doing another video capture device. Same exact thing you did for the other thing, but instead of choosing your capture card, you're going to pick your webcam. So now I'm going to drag it by the corner. And then if you're on Windows, hold down Alt, grab it by the sides, and you can trim it like that. So now I'll put myself in a corner. You see I got my Xbox One controller, and now we have control of the Xbox One. So now if you want to do your microphone and everything else, the game volume, so go to Audio and go to your settings. Desktop audio device one, make sure that goes to your computer speakers or whatever your game volume's coming out of. So that way you can see the bar go up when you make actions in the game here. And then for your mic, you would just select whichever mic you're using here. And then you confirm that it's on and it's hearing you because you can see this bar go up and down here. When you're doing the capture card with the game console, you're gonna have your own little volume bar right here. So it's probably gonna be extremely loud, which you might have right now. So you're gonna wanna turn this down. This is where you're going to control your game volume for your Elgato capture card. So that way, you can, if the game is way too loud or too soft, you would adjust this bar right here. But once you have all of this done, all you do is click go live, and then make sure everything's enabled, everything's good, put in your title, put in your Twitch game, confirm and go live, and you're streaming on Twitch. I hope that was simple and easy to understand. If it was, make sure to drop a like on the video. If you want to help support me and help me make more videos, feel free to check out the description down below where we have the Patreon, where we have a course that teaches you how to Twitch stream, as well as a bunch of streaming gear for your YouTube videos and your Twitch streams. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to comment your favorite video game you've ever played, and I'll see you in the next one.